Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you Font Manager, which is a Linux only program. So if you're running Linux and you do graphic design work like I do, uh, Font Manager is a great program to have. It's the best font manager that I've found for Linux and it's actually pretty cool. There's a lot of features to it that I didn't realize that it had. Uh, first of all, you can just install and uninstall fonts directly from within the Font Manager. But also it mocks up and shows you um, a little sample of what the text looks like. Uh, over here, we can search. We can find fonts by certain characteristics. Uh, we can find search by like the license type, for example, which is kind of nice. And then over here, down below, we can create our own collections, and we can add fonts. Like for example, this is fonts that I think are good to put on a business card, possibly. Or here's like a children's book fonts that you might want to put use for a children's book, or these rare and extreme fonts. So these are all collections that I've created. Uh, and then you can also just search. So if we go to all fonts, you can type in the name if you're trying to find the name of a certain font. And it's nice because some programs don't have a very good font tool. Um, some programs won't show you a, you know, a mock-up of what the text looks like. Um, which brings me on to the next portion of this, which is we're in the Manage section right now. But if we click up here in the top left, we can change to Browse. And here's what we can type in. For example, if we go to All and, oh, we're still... Uh, here we need to erase our search and then go back in if we go to browse now It'll show us all the different fonts. So maybe someone comes to us and they're like hey design me a logo for my business We type in the name of their business and then we can just very quickly search through and see what that would look like on every different different type of font and with every different style whether it's bold or italic or thin and So it's really cool. You can quickly go through and be like yeah, I kind of like this font here also, what we can do is compare. So if we click up here in the top left, there's a compare section. We can quickly search through and say, uh, how would this Arizona font look? And so we can click down here and see, and we can change what the text looks like. We can change the color of it um, the, you know, to match whatever design thing we're doing to get a, a really good idea of what this text would look like. So really, really cool. Um, back over to the Manage section also I want to show you. It's easy to install or uninstall a font. So you find a font. If maybe it's not a font you want, you just click this minus sign. It will remove it from our system, and it won't be available in any of our programs. If you want to add a font, we click the plus sign and just navigate to where that is. We can just do an entire zip uh, folder, and it will install the fonts inside there. Or if it's already extracted, we can just select the font. It will accept all different types of fonts. We click uh, open and it just installs that font. Now it's available on our system and within our font manager. There's also a really cool thing. This G here connects directly to Google Fonts. And so we can type in you know, a, something up here or just search for every font. And there's thousands, I think, of Google Fonts. They're all completely free with open licenses for commercial and, and uh, personal use. So you can use these fonts. And if you find one you like, you just go to it. I already have these ones installed, but this one I don't. So I could just click Download Family, and it will install this font on my computer, and then I can use it. Uh, really, really, really cool. And then click the G to get out of it. Uh, one last thing, there's a settings area. So we click on settings. We can change, like I'm in the dark interface right now. There's a light and dark interface. All kinds of different options. We can set this up for how it's displaying on our computer. But something I really like is if we get out of settings, um, sometimes I'll reinstall my operating system or move to a different computer. I'll want to migrate. I don't want to create all these different collections over and over again. And so what I'll do is click these three lines and go to user data and I can just export. And this exports everything, not just the configuration, but also all the font sources, all of the fonts. So I can take all my fonts and all my configuration of Font Manager, and then I can re-import it. Go, I just install Font Manager on my new computer, click these three lines, and go to User Data, Import, and then select that, that file, and everything is imported in, and everything's ready to go. Uh, Font Manager, like I said, it's on GitHub. It's available. It's um, free and open source software. Uh, I'm running it on Linux Mint. You can also find it in the software manager of your uh, operating system, most likely. Just search for Font Manager and click Install, and you'll have it. Uh, really easy to use, really straightforward. So I encourage you to check it out. And if you're not using a Font Manager, especially if you do design work, um, I would encourage you to do it. One cool thing that I do also is I have this Font Alternatives collection. So if I'm looking for a, a, a commercial font, I, I have some options of some fonts that I could use in its place, some alternatives, which is pretty cool. And so you can just find a font that kind of matches, has some of the similar characteristics of that font. So I, I use this all the time for my font alternatives because I, you know, I only use free and open source software, which includes fonts. So I want to use free fonts, not proprietary fonts. But thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.